there is so much scrap available, so much waste that doesn't have value to anybody at all, and yet it's amazing material. We get a real kick out of repurposing things. For me, it's, it's my family, it's my lifestyle, it's my job, it's everything. The original festivals were all about people joining as a community around campfires, experiencing something together and taking care of things together. Michael really put his neck out and really sort of believed in what we did and I think been sort of instrumental in our development. Metamorphosis is our brand new show. It, it really has been an evolution and a development as the name suggests. There's three mini spiders, there's three legs, there's three Tesla coils, there's three of everything, everything's in threes. This year we've been trying to work really hard to make sure everyone has an immersive experience. We're looking to use a new biofuel flame system with reclaimed vegetable fat. We got very excited when we found out what he had created was an instrument that uses lightning. The closer your vision is, the more you can use your instincts to make decisions and, and harness the best of what's around you. There's definitely some magic that really kicks off when you get a lot of people focusing on one thing. I think it's that collective joy. Bristol is well up for embracing forward-thinking alternative ideas. There's loads of opportunity in Bristol to be creative and be an artist. We work with an amazingly diverse group of people, whether it's riggers, costume designers, musicians, welders, engineers. The magic of Arcadia really is kind of morphing all of those different disciplines and talents into one experience. In essence, what we're trying to do is take that Glastonbury campfire experience and some of the sort of creative and conscious ideas that come out of it and amplify that into a huge arena for tens of thousands of people from all walks of life. Are we clear for ignition? Okay, then that is affirmative.